on cat, you'd be a good kid in here. Right, go uh, piss in the air now. If there was one, I borrowed the fella off this uh, Samsung TV flyback. And if I'm stuck it under this um, switch mode power supply, fair like coil transformer uh, winding. Oh boy, I'm getting some marks off one of the windings. This smaller rod and getting some um, lower voltage, probably around 100 to 200 volts. And about, I don't know, 50 amps, so I can run little things of like that. And this other winding, I'm not getting much at all. But this between this one and this one, which must be a bigger winding version of this winding, I'm getting some bloody crazy arcs. Now, way right around this uh, flyback. Well, that's original bobbin and everything. But uh, unfortunately, a bloody arced over. Damn it. So, I can't just use any old motor winding. You need to use some proper high voltage rated bloody winding. So, let's just show, show you some arcs on this little uh, switch mode power supply transformer winding. The big switch mode power supplies for reprojection TVs and other similar equipment. The bigger they are, the Generally, you can bigger ones better because you can fit the bloody core in them. Smaller ones, you can't fit much winding because I can't find a core to fit them. So we'll try this one; it fits. Let's uh, show you some arcs. Oh, let's get some arcs going. Uh, I'll adjust this a bit because it's burns a plastic off there, and it is very bright when that burns. Nothing there, nothing there. But here. My windings in the primary look like a dog's breakfast. But it work quite well. Be at least a little under 10 kV. Damn the ants are stupid. I just made the end of my screwdriver glow red hot. Damn, I nearly air rolled my screwdriver. Need a bigger screwdriver. Stupid amp, just some stupid current behind that. Okay, I'll try again. Yeah, it's not much fault. So damn it's stupid. I think it's about 5 kV there. But the amps are bloody destructive. Damn that's a destructive amount of carton this little, little winding. Yeah, a bit warm. That's um it's got a power of 300 odd watt uh I think it might have been I was bigger, but a 300 odd watt rear projection TV has a size of winding about as big as this D-cell battery. I can uh, dig one of those power supplies out and try one of those big uh, ferrite core windings, see if we get nothing out of that. This is only probably from a 50 watt TV or so. Or so. Don't know what the actual transformer is, but a TV with current rating, how much it pulled from the mains is a couple of about, I don't know, 50 to 60 watts. So, these are the main transformers out of the switch mode power supply that runs a TV. So, you're getting them in a similar equipment. Man, that's some stupid arcs. It's not, yeah, not much voltage as you can see, but a lot of current there. It's like a miniature microwave oven transformer, that. Hmm, what else could I try? Uh, more arcs. I need something bigger though. That screwdriver was uh, getting way too destroyed. Um, and that one has not very soft. I'll try something else. This can just be a little update, so. I was going to try some 240 volt solenoids, potted, potted type, but unfortunately the bit in the middle is too damn small. That shouldn't, oops, that shouldn't arc over. That's all nice and potted in plastic. Imagine that as an arm secondary for a flyback. I can't get a ferrite to fit through there. I can't find anywhere a big enough uh, centerpiece to fit a ferrite through. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.